go to File, New, choose Template, A4, for the page, OK, that you're going to stick your work on. Now choose the picture that you're going to work from from your file and drag it across. You can also open it from File Open or uh, File Open as new layer as well. This drops straight into the Layers palette. Convert, yes, as a new layer. Press Shift S to increase the scale and then enter or scale. I'm going to look in the Layers Mode palette. No, go to Colors and I'm going to experiment with curves and if you choose the pencil shape and experiment with dragging the curves in different places you can see all the different sort of strange effects that you can create there's no particular effect that I'm looking for, I'm just experimenting to see what I want. And once you get something you think you, you might like the look of, then you press OK. But I'm just sort of dragging it randomly. OK. I'm going to now put a background behind this. I'm not sure what I'm going to use. Oh, I'm going to use um, some drawings that look a little bit like biomorphic forms, but also could be from the Year 9 project. Oops, the layer palette has just come up again. I just want to get rid of that. Oops, get rid of that. I need to make sure I click on the right thing that I want, which is that one, rotate. So I'm just rotating the drawing and now I'm seeing what effect it has if I put it at a different mode in the layers palette. That's a bit confusing. Uh, I think I might make the drawing smaller but I'm just trying a few other things out to see how it blends with the drawing before I do that. I quite like the semi-translucent pattern on the face. That's quite nice. It's not too heavy. I might go into the uh, levels palette and increase the contrast because once you've just experimented with the um, the modes in the layers palette, you can also add a um, contrast with the layers effects on top of that. So I'm just using the top slider to increase or decrease the contrast of the middle and um, top slider. And I quite like that one, it's not too heavy. It's almost like a tattoo across the face. I'm now making it smaller and you can see it reverts back to its original picture but once you've uh, pressed enter it goes back into the same pattern it was um, from the mode that you selected or effect rather than pattern. So I'm just increasing the size, de decreasing the size and moving it around so I'm not covering all of the face. Sometimes it's nice to have part of the face obscured. So now I'm going to experiment with uh, using the eraser to try and erase part of the effect. But as I'm doing that, it's not quite 
erasing it in the way I expected to because of the mode that's been selected in the layers palette but also the brush is a bit the a bit harsh so I'm just going to change the type of brush by clicking on the brush selection tool and choose something a bit softer and a little bit more opaque so if you want to blend two different pictures together you can do it through um, the eraser and change the opacity and use a soft brush and you'll be able to merge and blend two different pictures together. So I'm just softening some of the effect from the drawing, from the patterns, into the face layer underneath. So I'm getting rid of some of the white page layer from the drawing and and then I think I'm going to decrease my brush size in a minute and bring back some of the definition on the hand that's in front of the face. So I think I've gone to the levels palette again and just trying out the contrast just to see if I want to change it a little bit. 